Hey everyone, you're watching JDTV. This next Teleflex video is the first of two parts on upgrading your boat from a Seastar manual hydraulic steering system to a Seastar power assist steering system. Today we are going to look at what it takes to upgrade a boat fitted with Seastar manual hydraulic steering to Seastar power assist steering from Teleflex Marine. The Seastar power assist unit is suitable for many boat types from large high-performance multi-engine center console boats through to family sports cruisers. In this case, we will be working on a Scorpion 28-foot rib powered by a single Suzuki 250 four-stroke outboard. The decision to install Seastar power assist on this boat was taken so that the whole family could steer the boat with ease. This boat is currently fitted with a standard Seastar outboard cylinder and a Seastar front mount helm which is recessed into the dash with a round backplate kit. So let's take a look at the job in front of us. We'll be installing the following components. A Seastar power assist unit, an additional pair of hydraulic hoses, and a single length of hydraulic nylon tubing. Before starting any work, our mechanic takes time to study the comprehensive installation manual supplied with the power assist unit. The Seastar power assist unit will need to be installed in the hydraulic circuit between the helm and the cylinder. It should be mounted vertically in a weatherproof compartment and as close to the cylinder as is practical. It is important to take a few additional moments to consider the best position for the unit and the best routing for hoses. Some installations will be made easier by using the optional mounting bracket that allows the power assist unit to be mounted on a horizontal surface. However, in this case, our mechanic decided to mount directly onto a vertical bulkhead, so this bracket is not required. Four stainless steel screws fix the power assist unit in place, and once fully secured, it's time to turn our attention to the hoses. Disconnecting the existing hoses from the cylinder, these are pulled back through the splash well and reconnected onto the power assist unit at ports H1 and H2. Now, taking the two new hydraulic hoses, these are connected to the other side of the power assist unit at ports C1 and C2. and the other ends passed back through the splash well to the cylinder. Naturally, the lengths of hoses required will vary depending on the mounting position of the power assist unit. You can find the Seastar Power Assist Steering System and other great Teleflex products at jamestowndistributors.com.